So here we are in Magic Crafters looking at all the skill points and trophies available within this hub world. Starting off here in the hub world itself, we do have one trophy. Uh, we don't have any skill points, but we do have a trophy and that is to take out these four druids in one charge and that will give us the coming through trophy. So it's very easy, you just need to stand over here in this corner, in this little alcove. Look towards them and line up your charge and just go for it like that. Easy, simple, job done. That's one trophy in the bag. Let's move on. Okay, so here we are in Alpine Ridge, the first of the little levels. And here we only have one trophy and no skill points. The trophy is called Pop of the Tops and it requires you to blow up three chests located on top of pillars. It's very easy because the three pillars are right next to each other. You can actually see them right there. Those are the three pillars. So it's just more or less a case of getting to them. And then once you're there, not blowing yourself up or fall into your death. It's fairly easy. All you want to do is make your way towards the end of the level like I'm doing here. Past the first two dragons. Here's dragon number three. And the return home portal. And then you want to fly off this little ledge over to this little hidey hole here. And there'll be a dragon in here. Make sure you get zapped by this fairy because it's going to make it a lot easier if you do mess up. And you won't have to come all the way back through the level again. So once you're here, you want to get onto the platform. And whilst you're on the platform, if you, if I were to light this bomb and explode the chest, there's no place on this platform that is safe. So once you do light the platform, once you do light the bomb, you do need to move to a different platform, or you will get blown up and die. Which is not ideal. So you want to blow it up and then as quickly as you can come over here, do this one, head back and pick up the gems or the one gem, head back on over, and then finally the last little platform there. Oh no, I messed it up. But that's fine, that is why we get zapped by the fairy. So head on back over here, like this. Oh, it's a tight jump that. Over to this one, over to this one. Light it, and then get out of there, then head back for the last gem and the last box and that is how you get the trophy pop of the tops okay so here we are in high caves and this does actually have a skill point it has a skill point and a trophy the trophy is called arachnophobe and all you have to do is defeat all of the metal back spiders which you can see one in the background over there and then for the skill point you have to burn a hidden tro uh, a hidden painting i'm going to show you how to do that right now so the spiders are really strong and really powerful you cannot kill them uh, just regularly. Even if you if you charge them, you won't kill them. If you flame them, you won't kill them. So what you need to do is you need to run as quickly as possible past them like this because they will hurt you. Past the first three right here. Oh no, that one's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. Oh, 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 I got past him, okay. So there's five spiders in total. You want to run past the first three. Come up here to your supercharge ramp. And you can kill them with either supercharge or... Uh, I don't know what it's called. Super flame, I'm guessing, is what it's called. Either of the two will kill them. But you want to do the first three with the charge. I missed that one. That's fine. So there's one. There's two. We'll get the third one with the flame, not a problem. So that's how you kill them with the charge. With the flame, what you want to do is come up to where this last spider is. And head on over to this little section here. And there'll be a spider here, and there's another spider around the corner. Make sure you get the druid, because otherwise you'll get locked out. From here, and you won't be able to make it. And then again, another spider, another druid. Make sure you go for the druid. Like so, as long as you're sitting on a platform, you're safe from the spider, so don't worry about that. He won't come for you, and he can't hit you anyway. Over here, we have another fairy, and she will kiss us and give us a super flame, which makes taking out spiders far easier than the supercharge. So that's spider number three and four, and lastly, spider number five. Where are you? There you are. So those are the five spiders. Fairly simple, that'll get you the trophy Arachnophobe. And for the skill point, which we're heading for now, we need to get the hidden painting. 
really not that difficult. You just want to come over to where this fairy gave you supercharge, not supercharge, super flame. And you want to hop onto these druid platforms. So just wait for it to start coming back. Head on over. Kill the druid to stop the platform from moving. Kill this druid. And the hidden painting is right here. So all you want to do is jump up and burn it. Like so, skill point acquired. Up next we have Crystal Flight and this has the trophy Hot Winds 2 and just like Hot Winds 1 all you have to do is flame all of the fairies. There are only two fairies in this level as opposed to the last one which had three. So to get to the fairies all you want to do is go through the, the rings and the first arch and there's a fairy. I don't know if I got it but there's the first fairy. Then you want to come through the arches to get your second fairy. So, second fairy right here and there are only two fairies in that level so it's very simple very quick very easy trophy to get egg hunt is the only trophy available within the wizard peak level with no skill point being present yet again so for this one what you have to do is find a hidden egg thief and defeat him very simple because this one doesn't actually even run. He's just well hidden. So all we need to do is make our way through the level until you get to the section with all of the uh, supercharge ramps. And that's where we can find the hidden uh, egg thief. So just come on here. Here is our first supercharge ramp. We want to get rid of these guys. Get them out of our way. There's a batch of four down here. Like so. So, in order to get to the egg thief, you need to come up here. And ideally, you want to come all the way back up to where the dragon is. And you want to run down them. Turn left, run down this one. And then get as close to the edge as you can with this. And fly up. And that'll get you to this platform. And you can hear the egg thief. He's just hidden right behind it. Burn him, get your egg, get your trophy. That is egg hunt done. And finally, for the Magic Crafters hub world, we have Blowhard at the boss level. Now this actually has a trophy and a skill point. The trophy is called Gatherer and it requires you to collect all 400 gems. And the skill point is to ride a druid platform for 10 seconds. Now I'm not actually gonna be showing the trophy because all you need to do is collect all of the gems. Really not that difficult, just a few pointers. If you do get stuck, if you are missing a few, remember that you can push in the left analog stick or press L3 and sparks will point you into the direction of gems like so. So that's a really useful tip that is very, very helpful. And if you do get really, really stuck, there are a ton of 100% uh, level completions on YouTube. So just Google blowhard 100% level job done easy now for the skill point to ride a druid platform for 10 seconds this is actually one of the easiest skill points I think I've ever seen it is absurd but it's very simple all you want to do is make your way through the level like so up until your first encounter with blowhard which is just around the corner here So you can actually see Blowhard himself over there. You don't even have to interact with him, but you can if you want to. Oh no, you do. You do have to. Just come up here, flame him. And that will open the door. And here we have our druids and their platforms. So you just want to come over here and stand on this platform for 10 seconds. And there you go, there's your skill point. Very, very simple, very easy. The trophy, like I said, shouldn't be too difficult. There's a ton of guides on YouTube and you can always press in L3 to get sparks to point towards the direction of a gem. As he's doing right there, make sure you remember that killing enemies do reward you with gems. So make sure you do get rid of every enemy in the level if you're missing a couple, but really shouldn't be too difficult. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for some more content and I should be covering the 
beast masters beast makers beast makers i think it's called the beast makers hub world in the next episode